Thanks for tuning in to your favorite English podcast, Word Wave, where you learn new English words every day to improve your English fluency and speak English fluently and confidently. Yes, that's right. This is the fifth episode of Word Wave. So, Erica, what's the word for today? Well, today I have chosen the word naive. Wow, that is such a nice word. Naive. Yes, naive. It's used to describe someone, right, Erica? Yes, Sarah. The word naive is used to describe someone who is very innocent or lacks experience. Someone who lacks experience, especially in the way the world works. Yes, naive people are a bit too trusting, or do not know how things work. Naive people are too willing to believe someone easily. Yeah, I mean, they think life is always simple and fair. And nothing wrong could happen. Yes, we can also call an inexperienced person naive, especially when they are young or have not had much experience of life. Yeah, that's right. Naive is an adjective as it's used to describe people. It's an adjective, and the pronunciation is naive. Naive. Yes, it's a two-syllable word, and the stress is on eve. Naive, naive. Come on, listeners, repeat after us. Na, eve, naive, naive. Erica, let's look at some example sentences, shall we? Absolutely. That's the best way to practice these new English words. Here's the first one. Thinking you can achieve your dreams without failure is a bit naive. Life often has its ups and downs. That's a great example. Certainly, life. Often has its ups and downs. Yes, and it's also naive to think that without learning new words and practicing them in sentences, one will get fluent in English. Sarah, I couldn't agree more on that. Listeners, you must make sentences with these new words. Yes, only then will you be able to remember them in your conversations. I am pretty sure our listeners know that. Yes. And they are writing some wonderful examples in the comments. Yeah, sure. Here's the next one. She was so naive that she believed everything she read or saw on the internet. That's true. With so much fake news spreading around, especially on social media apps, it makes us believe it's true. Here's the next one. Investing all your savings in a get-rich-quick scheme without doing proper research is a naive financial decision. I mean, who does that? It's always better to contact a financial advisor for investments. Yes, I totally agree with that. Here's one more. She was naive about love and believed that every romantic relationship would be like a fairy tale. Yes, that is definitely naive, Erica. So, listeners, that's all for today in this episode of Word Wave, where you learn one word at a time to boost your vocabulary and speak English confidently. We will catch up with you in the next episode of Word Wave to learn one word at a time. Until then, happy learning.